In today's video, I'm gonna be using Kittle Flows to create some pretty sweet doodle designs. Well, they're gonna be kind of doodle plus the typography layout kind of style that I like, stuff that's on my shirt now, which both of those styles are going pretty strong still in places like Etsy, or even if you go to an H&M, you've probably seen this kind of style like everywhere. So we thought, why not continue to do another video on that while that trend is still going strong? And just cause Kittle Flows makes it so easy. So let's go ahead and hop into the editor. To save us some time, I've gone ahead and sketched a little lawn mower. My wife and I bought a house recently, and so I've been all about taking care of my grass, which we are very lucky that it's Bermuda sod and it's very low maintenance. The only issue sometimes is some crabgrass that I have to pull, but I've loved getting into that and taking care of my lawn, mowing, weed eating, trimming, and all of that kind of stuff. So I thought it'd be cool to kind of play around that area and do a doodle typography style lawn care type of designs. So I've got my my first one here that I drew and then went ahead and vectorized. As you can see, this is just vector and I could make this any color, but for right now, we're just gonna stick with black. And the great thing about flows is that it references whichever artboard is previous to create the new one. So I can very easily either click on this button right here to add a smart board or right over here in the right hand panel and tools, I can add a smart board here. And then you're gonna see this right here that says describe your edits. So what I wanna do is generate a weed eater in this doodle sketch style. I'm gonna say rough doodle sketch style because it's got a little bit of like quirky jagged edgedness to it. And for the purposes of testing this, I'm just gonna do quality on low. High is a lot of credits and I've had some good success with the low quality generations and I'm gonna vectorize it anyway. So it's not like it's a full blown image. Uh, so I don't need to go ham on the credits here. Now, rather than taking what this gives me and then generating another one for a blower, I'm going to go back here and add another smart board. You wanna be careful about deviating too far from your original source prompt. That's not bad. It's not my favorite, so I'm just gonna generate it again. And here I'm going to do generate yard blower in this style. Sometimes you can say just in this style, which I might try with the weed eater again, if it doesn't give me necessarily what I want. And this is all kind of an experiment and trying to figure out how to prompt better. We're all trying to figure out how to prompt better and get AI to give us the exact generation that we want. And sometimes we have to give some credits in the process of getting what we desire. That's not bad. Here, I'm gonna add a smart board here. I could even drag this and let's say a weed eater in this style. So let's just see what that does. And we've got multiple smart boards generating at one time, which obviously it's gonna take a tad longer. So just be wary about that. But all AI takes time. So this is not like a this use case specific thing. This one isn't bad either. I quite still like this one more. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. You don't have to delete that one. If you don't like it, you could just save it and use it for something else. And that's pretty close as well. So I might take away these and it also might be getting confused by like the grass stuff. So I could also just pull this guy down here, double click in here and get rid of some of these anchor points. Pull this guy in, see how that does. Get rid of that. And then we could also experiment with shooting off of this guy right here. I'm also not being very specific with my prompts, so we're kind of just letting the AI do what it wants here. I also kind of quite like this clean without the grass underneath of it, so I might end up using that anyway. All the creative process. My toxic trait as a designer is thinking that every design that I do needs to be done in five minutes, and that stresses me out, and so I've been trying to not do that and give myself a little bit more time per design. I actually like this quite a bit. I could make some adjustments to it, like I could convert this to an image right here, vectorize that. Oh, here's our blower. That's lovely. Uh, again, I might get rid of the little things right here, so we could convert this to an image as well. Uh, vectorize, one color, and then if we just click into this, we can highlight some of these anchor points and just clean that up, and I like that quite a bit better. I kind of like this, and I want it to be kind of replicated on the other side because a weed eater obviously has two sides of the string. So I wonder if I can bring, I'm not like an anchor point master. So I wonder if I could kind of bring this guy 
be a little closer. But also if I select my illustration here and I click the pen tool, I can also add anchor points. So if I add a couple of anchor points here, then I can start to kind of bring these guys out. And I'm obviously not the best illustrator, but I think that that's close enough for what I'm going for, for sure. If I had more time, I might try to manipulate it a little bit more. But I already went ahead and made a type layout here that I wanted to put on a t-shirt. And this is just, you know, like we were talking about typography kind of style is definitely still going strong. And this is just two different fonts. This is Bergheim Pro and Helvetica Now. That's all it is. Just a little simple type layout. I have lots of videos here on the Kittle channel about doing typography t-shirts and some are doodle as well. So it's kind of a similar style. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring, start bringing some of these illustrations over here and plopping these in. And I thought that this would be really cool. And the reason why I didn't only do the mower is because it just looks a little empty. Like this is cool, that's nice. But I thought I could do a couple of other lawn care tools as well. So here is the trimmer and this design is starting to look a little bit more full, which is nice. And put that at a little bit of an angle there and bring that in and then also our blower here as well and let's angle that and get that sized up to look about right and that is actually pretty fire i would definitely wear this while doing the lawn work i do it every saturday morning just like stated in the shirt wake up early beat the heat you know especially during the summer you gotta do it I'm not trying to sweat all over the place so i can just click a draw an artboard you know let's just grab all of this and command g to group it together and and put it on our artboard here man i love that design i would like to put that on a t-shirt today so now that i've got my cool design here click my artboard tool and i can actually go ahead and mock this up right in kittle on a nice oversized t-shirt this guy looks like he's doing anything other than taking care of a lawn he, he looks like he's on vacation so that's probably not the right mock-up this is actually kind of fire and i would i would like to see it on this nice oversized t-shirt right here or size this up that absolute heat like that is the most fire lawn care shirt it makes me want to start a lawn care business called lawn care club and then have this be the shirt that people wear i mean that's absolutely wild i'm going to download this mock-up and if i go back to the editor a cool thing that i'm going to try with flows and i will preface this this is not to make another fully ready to go ready to put on a t-shirt design but just to test what it could look like if i wanted to go change the text and the illustrations put it together it's good at testing designs to see if there's something there so i'm going to say change this design be for a skin club the text at the top and you have to be specific say skin care club change every saturday morning to every saturday night change the three illustrations in the middle to a bottle skin care serum be a jade roller and my wife would be very helpful here because i don't really like do this let's just say and a pair of tweezers change other text to be about skincare and change the phone number to 555 new skin let's just see we're gonna see what happens here that's pretty wild definitely it's a little wonky like some stuff is kind of misspelled which you know AI is not like the goat at text yet. Some of it is pretty good. All of this is definitely all fine. This is really the only thing that was misspelled, which is very, very interesting. I could definitely see transferring this design into that. And if I wanted to, it has already given me the illustrations that I need. Boom, that's kind of the main, the main point right there. That's actually pretty nice. And just for fun, before we go, I am going to draw one more artboard put this photo of this guy wearing us in here and we're just gonna see if this works or not at smart board man mowing his lawn during morning using push mower wearing facing away from the camera so that the back of the shirt is shown you have to kind of think like a director a little bit you got to direct the ai into the direction that it needs to go which can be very very difficult sometimes that 
is pretty hilarious. Obviously, the design is a little screwed up, but it can give you an idea of the context of it, which is hilarious. Well, that's gonna be all for today's video. If you haven't gone and tried out Kittle Flows for yourself, definitely go try it. I specifically use it to create design elements, like all sets of elements in the same style. It's extremely helpful for that, as well as manipulating different design assets like color and texture. Like you could take a logo and make it 10 different textures, which would be pretty sweet. So if you haven't already tried that, definitely go try that for yourself. If you're not subscribed to the Kittle YouTube page, make sure you do that right now and like this video and comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.